Good day, everyone. My name is Peter David Adibayo, aka Jagabana Sotophonist, as being your day, and I hope and believe that you're having a wonderful day. If you're a first timer on this channel, I want to say welcome and thank you for checking out on Jagabana Sotophonist channel. Please help me like, follow, and please make comment when necessary on the page. All right, to play the chromatic scale in today's class, we're going to be making reference to the book I introduced to us some few days ago, probably a few weeks ago, that like simple approach to saxophone. However, if you have not gotten your book, the hard copy or the soft copy, please, you can place your order by contacting me on 070-360-7200. All right, if you have your simple approach to saxophone, kindly flip to page 42. So, the first note to play is playing all your notes close down. That's playing your B flat. Your B flat, the lowest note you could go on your saxophone. You cover this, 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 I mean, this, sorry. You can say this, 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 this this then you project the sound and that's the first note so the second note is your b your notes b on your old to start you know the first one will play is this then the b is going to be no, your pinky finger is going to be working here steadily. You know, it goes to this note here. Can you see it very well? So you, you cover every of the single notes. You can always check the fingering chart to see if you are producing the right sound. Right? So the next sound is going to be the key of C. And the next sound is going to be the key of C sharp. Remember I told you your pinkies? Finger is going to do a whole lot of work here. So this is your nodes. This is your F C sharp. This is your C sharp. But remember this C sharp can also be called D flat. Remember, it can also be called a D flat. Then the next note is going to be D. Now, you remember your D. This is your D. This is your D. So, the next note is going to be E flat. E flat and that's the same thing as your D sharp. Now you see that's your E flat there. And remember this is your E flat notes. This is your E flat. This is your E flat. So then we'll proceed to um from E flat. Then we have E, and this is our E. From E to F, right? This is your F. Remember, this class is basically for those who do not have basic understanding of how to play the sax. So I'm thinking it's so gradual. For every individual to get it right okay so let's continue so we have f so from f we go to f sharp and this is our f sharp remember this is our f sharp remember then from f sharp from f sharp we go to g and this is our g that's our J. Then we'll go to A. 
No, from G we go to um, G flat, not A. Then we go to A. Then from A we go to A, F, A uh, B flat or uh, A sharp, B flat or A sharp. So remember, we're going to be using our auxiliary key to play our B flat here. You know, we started with uh, the lower B flat, and this is the alternate fingering or uh, the alternate fingering for playing your B flat. So we pronounce the sound again. Then we go to our B. Remember, this is your B. This is your B. Key your B. So from our B now we go to C. We go to C. Then from C we go to C sharp. You remember we when we play our, our B flat lower the lower the lower B flat. This is what we play. I mean if sorry uh, C sharp. This is what we play. So the alternate fingering for that is opening all the whole notes up for C uh, sharp. Then we go to D. Then we go to C sharp. Sorry, D sharp. Then we go to E again back to F. Now remember, as we are going through this, we are using our octave key now. The first the first one was the first octave, uh, which is the first signature. Then we, we are going to the second uh, octave now. That F sharp now, holding the, using this. Remember, this is our octave key. So, to F sharp now to G now G sharp now to A from A to A flat I'm sorry B flat or A sharp to B from B to C from C from C now, remember we are still in our octave, from C, we have our C sharp, from C sharp to D. So from playing that D, we are going to use the palm finger, make sure of our palm finger now to play the alternative, alternative or the alternate uh, D, then uh, D to D sharp, this is our alternate D sharp, you press down the two note using your palm key. Now, so our E, you press the three notes. That's the three, three palm keys. One, two, three. One, two, three. Give you your sound of E. Then the next note give you your F. That's your uh, I F. Now, now you must remember to place. Um, so, all right, play your play your uh, F. The high F is going to involve you playing your D, your D, that's the alternate D, the alternate E flat, and the alternate E, and your C here. Or you can place the front F, this is your front F, with your um, key of A. So, the, f the fingering chart will be displayed on the screen for you to choose any one that is convenient for you to use. So, however, I hope you enjoyed the class and um, see you some other times for the next class.